Everyone wants to look their best, but sometimes we could use a little help. That's where Dr. Daniel Markman from Metamorphosis Plastic Surgery comes in. He and his team, including nurse practitioner Brittany Wilson, are here to help. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having us. So tell me a little bit about what it is that you do for people and how it makes you guys feel. So most of what we do is just all cosmetic surgery. So yes. it's mostly just about self-esteem, making people feel better about the way they look, the way they feel, the way they fit in clothing taking little minor things that may have bothered them for years and fixing them just changes many people's lives. So people will come to you and they'll say, you know what, I want this tweak or this has bothered me. And so you walk that walk me through the process of what it would be if someone came to you with something that they wanted to change or alter. Yeah, so sometimes that, like for a perfect example, they'll come to me and say, you know, I do a lot of his injectables, um, mm -hmm. which is the minim minimal invasive part yes. of the practice. Mm -hmm. um, he does more of the plastic surgery. So someone will say, you know, I don't like my smile lines. I've yes. lost weight lately. I've even had like patients with cancer that have lost weight. And mm -hmm. I say, so we can restore the volume um, with different types of dermal fillers yes. or help restore and refresh their youth of, with some Botox or yeah. neurotoxins. So. Well, you sort of touched on something I was gonna ask you. This doesn't have to be a whole overhaul Sometimes it is a small little tweak, or if they need something that is a little bit more involved, they can come to you for that as well. Correct. And so what do you love <clears throat> most about your job? I think the, the most fun thing about my job is when patients come back after surgery and see their body or their face for the, same, for the first time yes. to see the changes. And yeah. mm -hmm. at three months is when we do their follow-up photographs. That's when they see the comparisons of before and afters. And yeah. That's the most rewarding part is how it changes their lives. Right, because it's really how they feel about themselves afterwards. Right. And so what do you have, uh, I mean, in terms of advice for people who are even just beginning to think about plastic surgery, what would you tell them to consider? Well, a lot of people shop around these days for plastic surgeons. So the thing I tell all of our patients is be careful when you shop around, be sure it's a board certified plastic surgeon. Mm. And also there's a big difference between a cosmetic surgeon and a plastic surgeon. Okay in that for plastic surgeons, we train for six to seven years after medical school to become a plastic surgeon. There are many doctors out there that call themselves cosmetic surgeons that train in something else like OBGYN and dermatology and ENT. Um, so a lot of them have very little training, if any at all, in doing plastic surgery. That is interesting. I yeah. never knew that before. I actually, I've done, I've been in this field for a while and I was out in California and trained and I did more medical spa stuff. Yes. But I mean, he even taught me that, and I was I was really impressed yes. with the difference between it. So I'd say definitely do your research on any anybody that you right. go to. Right, because I think the layperson we're using those terms interchangeably, and mm -hmm. it is not the same thing. People so thank you for difference. that. And we're gonna learn that and a lot more because you have a new reality series. It's starting soon. We can watch it right here on WMAR. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that because we're gonna sort of go behind the scenes on your <laughs> practice, right? Right. So our goal is to kind of bring the real plastic surgery world to light. It's not all botched patients. It's you know just patients with not my real housewives. Yeah, we real always housewives. you know he was scared at first to do this. I yeah. said right. we need to normalize the practice, right? Because this is about education, right? Yeah. So and what, will, what will yeah. people see on this show? I'm excited. His before and afters, are my before and afters with injectables and just the patient's experience. I think just showing how it's like, you know, my mom or my sister or yes. my best friends. That's what a lot of our patients remind me of. So I'm glad that you're breaking that down, too, because I think yeah. a lot of times we think it's just for the, the rich and famous. They're only getting this, Not but there's really all of us. Just normal people can, that yes. are having life changing experiences yeah. with just some simple procedures. Well, I can't wait to see the show and we'll put that information on the screen. How can people get in touch with you? So they just go to, oh, there it is, discoverthebeauty.com. Discoverthebeauty.com. Right? And you are located in Ellicott City? Ellicott City, yes. Okay, so they can call the number on there, they can make an appointment, get a consultation, and then of course you can check out the show, watch it Saturdays at 7.30 right here on WMAR2. Dr. Markman and Brittany Wilson, thank you so much for being thank here. You. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.